This could go really good or really bad. This could look like, hey, I'm a clown, or like, hey, I'm kind of fashionable. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I thought we could get ready together, do a little chit chat, get ready with me, play with some makeup, play with some beauty products that I have been trying out. I recently got some new um, beauty products in my FabFitFun box. Shout out to them for sponsoring a portion of this video. We're gonna be using some of the products in the get ready with me today and I thought I would share with you guys what I got in my spring box. I've been using FabFitFun for years, like, years <laughs> like baby alex now alex we all love <laughs> fab fit fun so this is what the spring box looks like it's oh my god such a pretty floral box so it is already opened i have been testing these products and incorporating them into my daily routine if you guys haven't seen me talk about fab fit fun i will let you know what they are all about they're so amazing so they're a seasonal subscription box whenever people used to ask me all the time like which subscription box is the best which one do you recommend because i've tried them all i always say fab fit fun they're pretty much the only one i use to this day and I used to use a bunch back in the day. <laughs> so this is the only one that has like really stuck with me and is my true favorite because it's all full size products. Everything from fashion, beauty, lifestyle, wellness. And my favorite part is that it's since it's seasonal, not every month, it's every quarter. And I live in New England and I feel like every season is so different and it's so nice to get products where every season I can actually like really use them you know because everything's so different with each season here but really every product every season is just so much fun and you can customize your boxes now i had a lot of fun customizing mine i can't wait to show you guys what i picked up it's available in the us the uk and canada so let me go ahead and show you guys what i got and we will be using them in our get ready with me so i already went ahead and took a shower this is the islands of italy bath gel it smells so good. It's got a really nice peachy smell, very spring. I love every season getting kind of like a body wash or a body scrub that has more spring scented theme or a different scent for every season. You know, fall, I got the pumpkin spice. Spring, I love like a floral or a fruity scent. So the peach was really nice. Also in my box, I got three of these little reusable like makeup sponges one of them's dirty right now but they came in a set of three i love these i have so many of these from different brands so i was so happy to get more because i use them every single day to take off makeup to apply beauty products like my toner things like that so it's really nice having more of these in my collection because i go through them like crazy they're such a great like eco-friendly way to take off your makeup they're from the brand say S-A-I-E. They're really cute. I like the little purple. You guys, I have been loving this body cream. So it's from the brand Grown Alchemist. I feel like I've heard of them before, but I don't think I've ever used them. Um, it's just their body cream. First of all, I love this like really minimal packaging. Coming out of winter, I have been so so dry. So I've been lathering up with this every day since I got my box like a couple weeks ago. And it's a really nice springy scent as well. It almost smells kind of like fresh, lemony herbs, um, but it's really nice. It's not sticky, it's not greasy. It's just like very hydrating. Like love that brand. I can't wait to try other things from their brand. So next up, I recently started using this, which came in my box. It's from a brand Earth Harbor and it's their Biome Brightening Ampoule, ampoule, ampoule. <laughs> it's got spirulina and blue tansy. I like blue tansy a lot. I have a different product from Herbivore, one of their masks that has that in it. It's great for brightening. So I just started incorporating this. I cannot wait to see the results. So I just do a couple drops after I cleanse and tone. As you guys know, I have been working on brightening up any of my acne dark marks so i love that this was in my box it's perfect for me and my skin needs next up i'm going to throw on some eye cream this is from verso it's their super eye serum it has retinol 8. i like the packaging it's very minimal it's kind of perfect timing i needed some new eye cream so i recently started using this as well i just pat it under my eye every morning and every night and i've been really wanting to start incorporating retinol into 
my face routine, especially around the eyes. So I was really happy that there was retinol in this eye cream. Oh my gosh, this could not, all of this literally was everything that I needed. This could not have come at a better time. In the box came some of these like silicone socks. So I buy these like literally almost every year and I desperately needed a new pair. These are so amazing if you have rough feet. You know, after winter, we're going into sandal season. Thank God, <laughs> love sandal season, but my feet are rough right now, like they're rough. Um, especially if you're not going out to get a pedicure or anything. So these will change the game. <laughs> they even have um, a little gripping on the bottom so you can walk in them and not slip around because I've had that problem. Put on your favorite lotion on your feet or even like Vaseline if you need it. Sleep in these, you will wake up with baby soft feet. It's some sort of miracle. It creates like moisture or something, but oh, I'm so happy these came in my FabFitFun box. And it also came with a pumice stone, but that's in my shower right now. <laughs> so it was a nice little foot set. Also in my FabFitFun box, I got a MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. I've been really wanting to try a Powder Kiss lipstick. Um, this formula is something I've never tried. It's supposed to be like nice and light and matte. Um, so we're gonna try this today when we do our makeup. I haven't tested it yet, so I'm excited to test it with you guys. And I also got this really cute woven tray. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet because I wanted to like style it with you guys. So stick around to the end. And I'm gonna find a place for this in my house because it matches my style so much. I love trays lately. I think they're such a great way to style spaces and like it kind of condenses things and makes it look a little bit more clean, but like you can put some really cute things on it. So we will do that together at the end. So stay tuned. So that's everything that came in my FabFitFun box. Literally obsessed with everything that came in my box. Like I said, now you can customize your box. It's really nice being able to pick out the products and gear them towards yourself. These are all full size products and you get them at such an amazing value when you get them through your FabFitFun box. Also, I love that FabFitFun is dedicated to supporting women entrepreneurs so yes and if you're a FabFitFun member you can also like get access to these flash sales uh, throughout the year where items can be up to 70% off it's an amazing perk like everything from beauty skincare even furniture kitchen appliances so love that had to let you guys know I will put a link down below if you guys want to check them out we've got our skincare on I'm gonna throw on a little moisturizer since that goes on after this little guy here and then we can start our makeup. I'm feeling some sort of fresh look today. I think because I'm wearing this really cute like corset top, I wanna incorporate some sort of blue in my makeup, which I like never do. So I'm feeling some sort of like fun and fresh blue spring makeup. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so recently this foundation went viral. I already tested it in a different video here. Um, testing viral TikTok makeup and I love it. You guys have probably seen people talk about it. It's the KVD Beauty Good Apple Cream Foundation. Oh, I forgot this is like minorly too light for me right now. I've been taking my walks outside and getting a little color. Finally, the weather is good. It's like it blends well down my neck, but then when it's on, I look like super pale. This is what I do when my foundation comes out a little too light. I take some Dior Air Flash in the color 3.5 and I just spray a little. Cause this is my like tan foundation. So I'm just gonna mix it all together and hopefully find peace and harmony. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite concealers, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's so pretty. I think this is also viral on TikTok right now. What can I say? The TikTok obsession is very real. Get a little Laura Mercier translucent powder. Am I almost out? All right, how's everyone doing? Are we all so happy? Spring is almost here. Right now I hear birds chirping outside. It's warm, I have the window open. Feeling oh so fun and fresh. All right, I'm just gonna take a little baking powder. Bake under our eyes. But yeah, guys, let me know if you've tried. Oh, it's a skin perfecting foundation balm. I was trying to think of the word. I was gonna say serum, but it's like a balm. The coverage is crazy if you didn't see my last video, but let me know if you've tried it. And if you love it or hate it, I really like it, but I can't wear it out with like a mask on. Um, I only wear it if I'm at home like filming for a few hours because it didn't, it definitely came off on my mask and it kind of settled into my creases. 
but I am an oily person. My brow routine has been the same for about a month now. So I use the Morphe Hazelnut Brow Cream and then I love taking the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Creme Brulee. And I love to clean up the brows with this. It is so effortless and I just use a little spoolie and angled brush for the brows. It's so funny. I mean, you guys know this. I talk about it a lot. I go through phases with makeup. I will love a pomade for the brows for like a month or two, then I'll love a pencil, then I'll never touch pomade for like two years. <laughs> That's like the fun of makeup though, you know? Like, there's so much, so much. Like there's so many different kinds of things, always new things coming out. It's so much fun. And I feel like lately I'm just having a lot more fun with makeup than I have in a long time. And it's always like a really good feeling when you like, fall back in love with makeup and creating new looks. I'm just gonna take this little Morphe 421 to clean up because this brow has got in some trouble. All right, so now that our face is fully set, um, I went ahead and picked up a new bronzer. So this is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Perpetually Tan. So I have the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush and I love it, like it stays on all day. So I'm kind of hoping this is the same. The color is really pretty. Um, it definitely looks a little warm, but like I do kind of need to warm up the skin anyway just because my foundation's a little too pale. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty. It's really pretty. It's not um, shimmery, thank the Lord, uh, but it is a really pretty color, actually. It's not as warm as I expected. I'm like, please don't let this be orange, please Lord. Just warming up my skin. It's looking a lot more close to my chest now in color. Yeah, I'm not doing any heavy contouring, just bronzing up. I love this, gorgeous. I'm gonna do a super neutral blush. This is called Grace. It's from KKW Beauty. It's a very simple rosy peach color, nothing too intense. Oh, it's so pretty. I have not grabbed this in like, I wanna say like a year. <laughs> all right, this is the point where I'm like, Alex, put down the blush, put down the blush. Shout out to all my fellow blush addicts below. All right, a little Amrezy Anastasia highlight. This, I don't think they even sell this anymore. I still use it almost every day. It's just one of my favorites. Can't explain. Rudolph, she likes to glow. I love that nose glow. I know a lot of people don't. Are you team nose glow or team no nose glow? Team nose glow or no glow? I love it. Let's go ahead and melt it all together with a little setting spray. Okay, while that dries, let's talk course of action for our eye makeup. So, as you guys know, I love the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Sticks. They are so creamy, blendable, long wearing. They're like just some of my favorite products. So I have two blue colors in turquoise and indigo. So what I've been doing with these lately is I have like a dark brown one that I'll put on the lash line and smudge it out. And it's so sultry and so pretty. So I think I wanna do that. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put down the turquoise all over the lid. Is this gonna be a, is, am I gonna regret this? No, mm, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Cause this is also very easy. It's like a two step situation and I, I love a two step easy breezy moment. So we're gonna do the turquoise all over the lid blend it out and then take the indigo darker blue on the lash line and just give it a little smudge, just like a Q-tip or something. I'm just gonna throw a little primer on the lid first and foremost. Whenever I do like a fresh kind of bright eyed look, I like to skip my bottom lash line, but that's totally up to you. Y'all, when I tell you how easy these are to apply, it's wild. So right on the lid, I'm already feeling a little uncomfortable with this, but that's okay. We're going out of the comfort zone, right? And it doesn't dry down for like a few minutes, so you have a little bit of time to blend. So I'm just going around the edges and softening them. And now, taking this dark shade. So you can either just go right to the eye or you can put it on a little like angled brush, but I just drag it on like the outer half of the lid, lash line. 
and you can literally just take a q-tip and soften and it kind of creates like a gradient ombre effect i can't decide if i regret this not sure but what's life without taking chances <laughs> to be honest i like hate the way eyeshadow looks unless i have on lashes so let me do the other eye <laughs> and put on some lashes and see if I like it. Cause like it is kind of pretty, I don't know. All right, now that I have the lashes on, kind of fire, kind of fire. I think I really like the blue, but okay, hear me out. I saw a really, okay, a really pretty look with blue eyeshadow and red lipstick. So we're gonna try the lipstick from FabFitFun a red with this blue eyeshadow and I want to see your opinion okay because this could go really good or really bad this could look like hey I'm a clown or like hey I'm kind of fashionable <laughs> let me know in the comments so first I'm gonna just put on a little um, red lipstick from Mac I'm nervous and excited okay okay first of all this formula is amazing oh my god i got it on my tooth and if you guys are new here i actually used to work for mac for a few years long ago and it was actually before the powder kiss was out i will say i really like this red all right what do we think i don't know i don't know guys <laughs> i don't think it's for me um very fourth of july energy <laughs> I do really like my top half and my lower half separately. I love the formula of this lipstick. It's the perfect light and airy matte without being drying. Like it's not as thick as their normal matte finish lipstick. It's kind of a bit, it's like a little creamy, but it looks more matte, but I definitely want to try some of their other colors. Now that I know if you're curious, this is called work, work, work. <laughs> I feel like this is almost it, but it's just not. Okay, <laughs> we tried and that's what makeup's all about. Trying, having fun. So I've been thinking where I wanna put this woven tray as I've been doing my makeup. And this is very much like the theme of my office. My office is very boho and girly. So let me just cut the tag off. And I think I want to use it actually up here. I have like a display of some items. So cute. And I just love the way it kind of clusters items together. It looks really pretty. You can use those wooden trays for like anything and they always look so chic and gorge. Sorry guys, I gotta change. I gotta put on a neutral lip color. I am someone, if my makeup doesn't feel right, I'll have a weird day. A little makeup forever, up and down tan lip liner. And I'll do a different MAC lipstick. Let's do a little Honey Love. Oh, I love it. See, that was the vision for me. <laughs> a nice light nude and some blue on the eyes. This, this feels good. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Was the red a vibe or not? Again, I will put a link down below if you guys wanna check out FabFitFun. Always impressed with their products. I have been for years and I definitely recommend checking them out. Link below. Thank you again to them for partnering with me on this video and I love you so much. I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.